Now, government leaders in Singapore say they are finding new ways on the ground and online to engage citizens and stakeholders. By initiating such discussions, they are better able to find common ground and help the public understand the trade-offs that come with certain policies. Almost all cabinet ministers now have their own Facebook accounts. While the extent of usage varies, leaders say they're mindful that they have to reach out to Singaporeans who are accessing information in a slightly different way. Some have found concrete ways to bridge online discourse with offline engagement. MP for Tanjung Paga GRC, Chan Chun Singh, for example, recruits dialogue participants via his Facebook page for informal dialogue sessions. He said it's not just about gathering feedback, it's also about explaining policies and empowering young people to take charge by contributing ideas about issues affecting the country. It's an initiative the former chief of army said he started in the military. Some of the things that people are shouting across the floor each other, I'm not happy or I'm not satisfied with the level of discussion, the depth, the analysis. My job is not whether a certain political party will survive or be in power. My job is to make sure that this country survive and thrive. We must have people that understand the fundamentals of this country, share the same understanding of these fundamentals. But they can all have different solutions. Since May, Mr Chan has held these monthly dialogue sessions on issues such as problem gambling, HDB flat prices and issues of work permits for foreign workers. Now, these topics were suggested by the participants themselves and this is something that Mr Chan hopes to continue with. The health minister has also extended tea sessions to groups he's met online. He wants to see a multi-party consultation process involving healthcare providers, recipients and the government. This uh, also comes from my past experience as, uh, in the Ministry of Manpower because it will be useful and it will allow us to have a, a more robust policy and it's also better uh, buy-in and uh, 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 commitment from the various stakeholders in making sure that this, our policies will succeed. As for the Transport Minister, he said that social media tools have enabled him to do his job better. I do go in, I read, I take the feedback. Some of it is actually pretty useful, right, as to pointing me to go and say, let's take a look at it for myself or more often than not, telling LT, why don't you investigate it? All three ministers agreed that trade-offs in policies need to be better communicated to the ground. Just ahead.